Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 15. Today we begin the new season. We are in the preseason. We saw the NFL draft and the end of the pre off season, excuse me, in the last video. Now let's see who we have signed before we start this preseason. Jimmy Clausen will be our third quarterback. Andrew McDonald gives us some depth at right tackle. Devontae Chal Childers is a rookie defensive tackle. Bernas Baxter is a rookie at left tackle. Nelson Okiyami. You say that that has a rookie at kicker. Pat O'Donnell provides some depth at punter, and then one trade. Barry Church goes to the Falcons for a third-round pick, and then I decided to grab Tyler Bray. He had some pretty good attributes. He just gives us one more option at quarterback as we try to find that sort of third-string project QB that we need on the roster. So you can take a look here. You see those quarterbacks at halfback. Everyone's still the same. The rookie Arnold there, the 80 overall. We've got the two fullbacks. Probably we'll just end up keeping one. John Kuhn is the free agent that we signed. The wide receivers here, Davian Sherrod, the rookie 79 overall, will definitely play a part in our offense. Tight ends unchanged from last year. Braden Pettigrew actually regresses a little bit. He is the worst tight end on the roster. And then you see the offensive line here. Logan Mankins, the free agent signee. Dominic, Dominic Rayola back for another year. And then we got Larry Warford and Leandre Waddell on the right side of the line. For the defensive line, Jason Jones is back. Devin Taylor coming up on him, though. A 76, just three attribute points separate those two. Ziggy Ansa, the man, has exploded now in 89 overall. And Dominican Sue, Nick Fairley, the two beasts in the middle. But you see there, Childers, a 74 overall rookie. He has got a great chance of making this team as an undrafted rookie. The linebacking core to hear Whitehead there on the left side. Stephen Tullock in the middle with the rookie Chess Goodwin. And then on the right side, DeAndre Levy. As for the DBs, we have Brandon Carr, the free agent signee, leading this cornerback crew. Rasheen Mathis back, Darius Slay, Bill Bentley, Burton. Birch, the rookie, and then Nevin Lawson in the secondary. The free safeties, Quinn, Carey, Adejabo, Trenton Robinson, and then Simpson is the rookie. Kind of behind the eight ball here. I don't know if he'll be able to make that team. And then special teams, the rookie kicker, actually much better than Freeze. Freeze did have a good year, but I am not going to rule anything out, so we'll see who wins that competition. And then the preseason, we're going to play the Buccaneers, Redskins, Bears, and Packers. Very odd that we're playing two division opponents in the preseason, but nonetheless, we are going to get this going as we first face off against Tampa Bay. And in Matthew Stafford's first drive, he is throwing an interception. And actually, let's make that a pick six. So a little bit of a continuation from last year. Stafford, the interceptions really hurt him and hurt the team. So that is definitely something to be focused on. But getting going here, Jimmy Clausen, a surprise second QB in this one, cannot find Sherrod, the rookie, for his first completion. So third and 12 here, Clausen looking downfield, and he is going to be sacked. So a rough first series for Jimmy Clausen. And I wouldn't look too far into it, Clausen. I just kind of want to see him as much as I can, as I know what we have with Dan Orlowski. He did very good. He definitely, I want to say, I'm not 100% sure, but he definitely probably will be making the team. So we're just going to look from Jimmy Clausen here. Sherrod going to get his first catch. And then pulls, gets, excuse me, gets the face mask from the pole on the face mask by the defender. So we get a little extra yards here. Now Clausen coming back, going to get this one away to Sherrod. He will pick up another first down as the Lions are looking to put up their first points of the preseason. Arnold, his first career carry is going to pick up just two yards, excuse me, three yards there. Now third and 10 from the 12. Jimmy Clausen looking to lead a touchdown drive. Going to go to Sherrod. The rookie falls into the end zone for the touchdown. That is what we like to see. The rookie wide receiver's first career touchdown as we tie this one up. Now just a minute to go in the first half. The blitz coming in the interception. Bill Bentley, what a catch. The one-handed interception from Bill Bentley. Man, that didn't have, had a pretty good year, but not the greatest. As you see the halftime stats here, a negative three passing yards for the Buccaneers. They have been absolutely awful in this first half. But the Lions only hold a three-point lead as we begin the second half. Arnold still in at running back, and he's going to take this carry and fumbles the ball. And that is not what we like to see. The rookie unfortunate just gets that ball ripped out he is gonna have to fix that or he is not gonna see the field here coming back now 
Sherrod with another catch as Orlowski in the game. Now he is 4 of 9 for 37 yards. An okay start for him. It's a 10-10 game here. Arnold with the carry going to get his first first down on that second and four run. He's got 28 yards on six carries as we're midway through this third quarter. Now second and one. Orlowski under center going to hand it off to Arnold. And Arnold going to get some room here up that right side. Pushes off the defender. Carries him out of bounds. Probably should have got a late hit penalty there as he tackles him well out of bounds. But nonetheless, first and goal, Arnold. And a touchdown for the rookie. It is a... Game of first here in this first game. Both rook, big rookies getting their first career touchdowns. Here in the fourth quarter now, James Starks diving in for the touchdown as the Buccaneers tie the game 17-17. Four and a half to go, fourth and one, and we are going for it. Tyler Bray in the game now, and Charles Sims straight up the middle, and Charles Sims has a lot of room, and he's got all the room he needs as he's all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. As a nice run there from Sims, a lot of room and now first and 10, a minute 20 to go. The Buccaneers are looking to come back here, but here is a fumble. The big hit put on. Devin Taylor recovers, and that would do it in this one. Jimmy Clausen goes 7 of 10. Orlowski 6 of 11. Tyler Bray just 2 of 4. Didn't get a whole lot of work, but a pretty good game from Jimmy Clausen. Mike Kafka, a pretty nice game for the Buccaneers. As we see the rest of the stats here, Clawson, that one touchdown pass, just one interception coming from Matthew Stafford. Charles Sims, 7 for 109. Arnold with a pretty good game of his own. And for the wide receivers, da Davian Sherrod, 5 of 47. A very good debut for the rookie. We now move on to week two against the Washington Redskins. Second and 19 here as we jump into this one. And an interception being thrown. Jimmy Clausen in the game here. D'Angelo Hall intercepts it. And unbelievable back-to-back -back games. The first points being scored by pick sixes. But as we look at the replay here, you see the opportunity for the catch is there. But Hall just steals this one away from Golden Tate. So I'm not going to fault Clausen as much as Stafford's last game. Stafford's was just a bad throw. Coming back here, Clausen still in the game in the first quarter. Ebron with the reception there. Now third and seven. Last minute of this first quarter. Clausen back. Going to throw here. Going to find Foria with the sick one-handed grab for Joseph Foria. Clausen four of six. Just that one mistake so far. Now third and five. Clausen going to throw. And what a pass. Ryan Broyles with the catch. Let's take a replay of this slow-mo. You see him throwing that one. Double coverage there. But he is just going to split that safety and Defensive back, what a throw. That is what we like to see. Now first and 10 here, Kirk Cousins in the game now, and Kirk Cousins is gonna scramble, takes the hit, and he is gonna be hurt. And I'll tell you right now, you will not see him again the rest of the game. We knock him out of the game. So in the game now is Dominic Davis, first and 10, and he is gonna be picked off. Rasheen Mathis with the interception. And the Lions with the turnover and now with the ball again. Jimmy Clausen still in the game. We're getting an extended look from him. Play action here. He is going to throw it. He's going to find a wide open Joseph for you as he takes this one across the 50 to the 33-yard line. Now second and seven. Midway through this second quarter, Clausen going to be throwing once again here as he snaps the ball. A quick throw here. Sherrod, and Sherrod fumbles as what is going on here. The rookies fumbling the ball, not taking care of it. And that is going to earn you a quick seat on the bench in the regular season. We're going to give him a little bit of a longer leash here in the preseason. It's okay if you make a couple mistakes in here. No mistakes being made. Bill Bentley, second interception of the preseason as he is coming out looking for some playing time. And he might have just earned it there. A certain goal here looking for the end zone. Cannot be found, and we are forced to kick the field goal. Now in the third quarter, Arnold straight up the middle. The rookie running back looking pretty good in his first couple games. He gets that first down. Now third and one as we have Tyler Bray in the game. He is getting the third quarterback look here. But on third and one, he is going to rush away and going to be taken down. As now in comes the rookie kicker, Okiyumi. Yeah, I mean, whatever you want to say it, doesn't matter because he just made that long field goal. As now we lead 13-7 to in the fourth quarter. Now third and 18. Bray going to throw here, and Bray misses badly as he is 4 of 6 for 50 yards, but not very good accuracy there. 
Now fourth and one in the fourth quarter. Davis running this one himself, and he's going to pick up that first down and more than a little extra as the Redskins somehow in this game. We have dominated this one the entire time, but here the touchdown will be had. Brown out of the backfield catches this one and into the end zone for the touchdown. So 14 to 13, we find ourselves down and in comes Dan Orlowski looking for the win. He's going to complete this one to Ryan Broyles for a very nice throw and catch, but fourth and nine here. This could be the game. Orlowski play action looking, has someone, but too far for Brandon Pettigrew to make the catch. So the Redskins, one first down is needed. And they're going to pick this one up, and that's going to be your ball game. We lose game number two. A little disappointing we lost this one considering how well we played, how much we dominated. Another good game from Jimmy Clausen, 12 of 18. Wolaski just 2 of 5. And then, actually, Tyler Bray's not even showing up here. Uh, I'm, excuse me, 4 of 6 for Tyler Bray, 50 yards. But Jimmy Clausen, 154, pretty good game from him. Arnold goes 5 of 25. Charles Sims did not get a whole lot of action, so he cannot replicate that 100-yard game he had last week. T.J. Jones and Ryan Broyles, both with pretty good games there. T.J. Jones, 5 for 47. Sherrod, 2 for 22. And now we move on to week three. And before I end this one, we are going to take a look at the roster cuts in week three. First up, Tyler Bray outperformed by Jimmy Clausen. Going to be no room for him on the roster. Next up, left tackle Cornelius Lucas. He is going to be cut as he is that worst left tackle. One corner is going to be cut. Nevin Lawson, just the guy in the bottom of the list. He's just going to lose out. Pat O'Donnell, no chance he beats out Sam Martin. And then Jarrell Simpson, the first rookie, drafted him in the fifth round, but he was a disappointment. And then Travis Lewis, the middle linebacker, Chess Goodwin just a little bit better, so we are going to get rid of him. So we have made it down to 59. You will see the last two weeks of the preseason next time, including those final cuts before week four, and we move on to the regular season. So you will see those next time, but that is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.